hi friends uh, welcome to all uh, today in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring an ipv4 acl on vty lines here we can see the addressing table and also we can see the objectives we are going to configure and apply an acl to vty lines and finally we will verify the acl implementation we will come to part two one configure and apply an acl to vty lines so in that step one verify telnet access before the acl is configured right both computers should be able to telnet to the router the password is cisco now we will verify telnet access before that we will get the ip address of uh, router here we can see the ip address right we will come to pc desktop command prompt here we are going to give telnet and uh, the router ip address password is cisco yes we able to login now we will go to laptop telnet and the ip address of the router password is cisco yes we able to uh, log into the router using telnet now we will go to step 2 configure a numbered standard acl configure the following numbered acl on router so we are going to give this command here we can see we are going to create the access list 99 and we are going to permit a particular host that is 10.0.0.1 so that is uh, this uh, pc in this topology right also we can see because uh, we do not know i mean we do not want to permit access from any other computers the implicit deny property of the access list satisfies our requirements exactly here we are giving permit only to this host and all other host will be denied well we will give this command on uh, router coming to router cli mode right here we are going to enable and we are going to the global configuration mode yes here we are going to give the access list and uh, number is 99 as it is a standard access list here we are going to permit right permit we are going to permit a particular host and the ip address we have to specify that is a 10.0.0.1 here we will go to uh, step 3 yep. place a named standard acl on the router access to the router interfaces must be allowed while telnet access must be restricted therefore we, we must place the acl on the telnet line 0 through 4 from the configuration prompt of router enter line configuration mode for line 0 to 4 or we can give uh, the entire lines that is 0 to 15 and use the access class command to apply the acl to all the vtv line vty lines yes here we can see that line vty 0 to 15 here they are giving for all the lines and here they given access class 99 in here we can see uh, in step 3 they given place a named standard acl on the router uh, don't confuse because uh, we created a numbered standard acl uh, actually here should be a, a numbered standard a a acl mistakenly they given a named standard acl here we are going to uh, apply this uh, whatever numbered standard acl created uh, to this uh, router well we will come to the router now cli mode right so we have to go to uh, vty lines we have to give a line vty we will go to all the lines 0 to 15 and here we are going to give access class and uh, the number is 99 what we created and the bound inbound uh, yes we are coming to the final part 
verify the ACL implementation. That's step one. Verify the ACL configuration and application to the VTY lines. Use the show access list to verify the ACL configuration. Use the show running config command to verify the ACL is applied to the VTY lines. Right, we will verify this now. Coming to the router. Okay, right. We'll go to the privileged exit mode. Here we are going to give show access list. And here we can see uh, the numbered um, access list what we created. Yes. Okay, also we will verify show running config. Come on, come on, we will see that. Yes, here we can see that. Access list. Now we will go to the final step. Verify that the ACL is working properly. So both computers should be able to ping the router, but only PC should be able to tell it to it. Right, we will verify that. We will come to the router. No, we will go to PC and we will ping uh, to the router. Also, we will ping from laptop. Right. We are going to ping to the router. So here is the IP address of router. Yes, we are getting the replay. We will check from laptop. Ping to the router. We are getting the replay from both devices. Uh, that is a PC and uh, the laptop. Now we will verify the telnet from uh, these uh, devices, PCs and laptop. Coming to PC, right. Here we are going to give telnet and the IP address of router. Yes, so we able to telnet from PC. Password is Cisco, yes. Right. Now we will try from laptop. Telnet to the router. Here we can see connection refused by remote host. So this uh, uh, this uh, laptop unable to uh, telnet to the router. Oh well, uh, it was a small packet tracer activity, but uh, we can see it is uh, very important configuring an ACL on VTY lines. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my videos, give a thumb. And if you like my channel, you can subscribe the channel so that you will get the future uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.